This is Professor Thad Starner. Today we're going to talk about switches and relays. Now, there are many different types of switches. You can have simple ones uh, that are diagrammed like this. And this is what you might have, uh, you know, you might be familiar with. This is what's called a single pole, single throw. Single pole meaning that there's just one uh, uh, line coming in here. Single throw means that there's only one connection to be made. Um, now, you can also have switches that, look, that are called single pole double throw. And they look something like this when you diagram them. And simply means that um, there's again one line coming in but two different places, two different throws that it can go to. You can also have a double pole single throw switch. The, double, the dotted line here means that basically these two poles aren't connected to each other. And so thus when you push this down two circuits are connected. Again that's double pole single throw. Then finally, the other common one you have is a double pole, double throw. And in this case, you have two lines coming in, they each can make two contacts. That's the DPDT. Now, this is a relatively easy concept, but to actually show some idea of what's going on here, I'm going to pull my multimeter in. And this multimeter is nice because it actually has a setting that when you short something together, it beeps at you and tells you the resistance. You can see here it thinks it's about 2 ohms or so, just having these two leads together. But, now allow me to uh, play with a couple different uh, switches here. Let me zoom in on this particular one. This is the switch that's commonly used on my keyboard called the Twiddler. And as you can see here it has a couple pins. Uh, these back pins here, these are just for holding it in place. These two pins are what matter. And basically when you push up on down on this, it's a single pole, single throw. Now more specifically, so single pole, single throw, but it's also, also normally open. In other words, when I actually test it, make sure everything's working again, when I test it here, uh, it doesn't make, there's no uh, noise, in other words it's not closed, but when I push down, it makes contact. So what that's called is normally open, or NO for short. Now, if that was uh, normally, if that, if it's when I pushed down on it, it opened it, and when I released it, it was normal, it was closed. It'd be called NC or normally closed. That's about the simplest type of switch you can get. Okay, let's get something a little bit more complex. And let's look at this one. This has a slider on it. And notice there's six leads coming out from it. Sorry, four leads. Um, but I seem to have about three different positions. A bottom, a middle, and a top. So I suspect that when I have this slid to the top, these two are going to be closed. Yes, indeed. And then when I put in the middle position, it's going to be open. And the bottom position, it's going to be open as well. Now, let's try it the other way before we get to the middle and bottom position. Yep, those two leads are connected, one's in the bottom position, but one's in the middle, nothing, one's at the top, 
nothing. Okay, very good. Now, I guess the big question is what's in the middle then? Well, in the middle, these two leads connected. So this really has actually triple throws. It's single, a single pole in some sense, but it has three different positions it can be in. Let's try another one I happen to have lying around. This is a toggle switch, so two distinct positions, but it's got six leads on the back. That's kind of interesting. So let's play with that for a little bit. So right now, let's see how I can put this so you can actually see what's going on here. Um, right now I have it in the down position. Let's test it out here. Down position. Oh, those two are connected. So these these two on this side seem to be connected. The bottom ones. Let's see if we get a little bit a little bit more zoom on this. Really give you a sense of what's happening here. Okay. So top two, bottom two are not. Let's try the other side. The other side, okay. Those two, but not those two. Well, that's interesting. So it seems that this switch, when it is in the, when it's toggled like this, these two and these two connect. Let's see if they're connected to each other. No, and no. Okay, so let's try the other position. Up here. These two, these two, though. Nope. Put the ones on the side, yes. On that side, on that side, okay. So what's going on here is this one. This this rela this uh, switch is basically one of these double pole double throws. So basically, when it's down, these top pins, these two and these two are connected, and once in this position, these two and these two are connected, but they're not connected to each other. So double pole double throw toggle switch. Very useful thing to have.